What's up guys, Intel's upcoming 14th gen Raptor Lake refresh CPUs have been tested in the Factoria, a top-down sim builder game, but the performance lacks severely against AMD's Ryzen 3 dv Cache chips. The benchmarks come from folks over at Computerbase, who have compiled the numbers for various chips including Intel 14th gen CPUs, 13th gen CPUs and AMD Ryzen 7000, Ryzen 5000 3 dv Cache chips. The 14th gen chips include the Core i9-4900K, Core i7-14700K and Core i5-14600K. All of these CPUs are expected to launch next week and we know pretty much everything there is about these chips. In fact, they are already being sold to customers ahead of launch as reported here. Coming to the benchmarks, Factorio isn't at all a very graphics or a CPU intensive title and mostly has a 2D look to it with certain 3D elements. With that said, the game uses a metric known as UPS or Updates Per Second, which essentially determines how faster your processor can run calculations. The higher the UPS, the faster your factories will be able to run in real-life seconds compared to a lower UPS rate. So, in terms of performance, the 14th gen Raptor Lake refresh desktop CPU seem to offer a very minuscule upgrade over the 13th gen chips. The Core i9-14900K ends up plus 3.7% faster than the i9-13900K. The Core i7-14700K ends up plus 6.8% faster than the i7-13700K, while the Core i5-14600K ends up plus 1.2% faster than the i5-13600K. But the outlet also compared the chips against the AMD Ryzen 7000 and Ryzen 5000 3DV cache chips, and it's an onslaught. The AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D ends up being 63% faster than the Intel Core i9-14900K, the fastest 14th gen CPU, while the Ryzen 7 5800X3D ends up being 23% faster than the 14th gen flagship. This is a massive performance difference and one possibility of such a huge performance difference can be due to the 3D vCache technology that this game might benefit from. There are no non 3D vCache chips compared here, so we can't say for sure if it's the 3D vCache tech that's offering this uplift or if it's something else. A general optimization towards AMD CPUs may also be the case, but there is no specific mention by Factorio devs to have optimized a certain vendor's CPUs. Official Intel slides have shown an average plus 2.56% performance difference between the Core i9-14900K and the Ryzen 9 7950X3D. The Intel Core i9-14900K CPU ended up faster in 14 out of the 25 titles, while the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D CPU ended up faster in 9 titles. The 14900K showed up to double-digit gains in titles such as Metro X, Exodus plus 23%, Starfield plus 23%, Total War Warhammer plus 22%, Ashes of the Singularity plus 15%, and CSGO plus 14%, while the 7950X3D was faster in esports titles such as Dota 2 and Fortnite. In reality, the i9-14900K will end up being pretty much the same as the 13900K, but with some improvements in applications that benefit from higher clock speeds. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Video, please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Peace out.